36 people were on what many say was a life-changing trip, but none of them ever left a university laboratory. They volunteered to take the psychedelic ingredient that puts the so-called magic in certain kinds of mushrooms. And now there's a surprising follow-up. CNN's Carol Costello joins us live with the results. Carol, what's happening now? Well, John, maybe the hippies of the 60s weren't just on something. Maybe they were on to something. Scientists at Johns Hopkins now say magic mushrooms really can expand your mind, producing a kind of religious experience. Fourteen months ago, they gave dozens of volunteers magic mushrooms. And today, those volunteers are still feeling the effects. <laughs> The whole Johns Hopkins study seems just so hippy-dippy 60s. It brings to mind Timothy Leary, the man who first widely touted the alleged magic in this tiny mushroom. Five years ago, uh, by accident in Mexico, uh, I took uh, Mexican mushrooms. Leary, a Harvard researcher, claimed his mushroom-induced psychotic trip was so spiritual it led him and a generation to turn on, tune in, and drop out. Yeah, until the federal government stepped in and made hallucinogenic drugs illegal. Fast forward to 2006 and this research room at Johns Hopkins. 36 volunteers took part in an initial study on whether psilocybin, the active ingredient in magic mushrooms, really does have a lasting spiritual effect on people. Dee Dee Osborne, a business consultant, volunteered to find out. It's a very a beautiful feeling. I've not felt anything like that before. Osborne, lying on this couch, received one dose over an eight-hour period. She saw a kaleidoscope of colors. Then... There was a tearing open of my heart. And then uh, the, the feeling that uh, we were all one. The effects of that single session are still with her 14 months later and with other volunteers. The study says at two months, the volunteers rated the experience as having spiritual significance and sustained positive changes in behavior. Most people had experiences that really looked quite indistinguishable from classically occurring mystical type experiences. The study is nothing like those done in the 60s. They're far more controlled. The goal is to explore whether this drug could prove therapeutic to those terminally ill. Volunteers who are under psychological distress secondary to a cancer diagnosis. And the thought here is that an experience of this type uh, primary mystical experience might well alter the course uh, and the per or the perception that the individual has of their disease process and quality of life. As for those volunteers who took that long, strange trip on Johns Hopkins' couch, the study says most have no regrets and feel their world is a better place because of it. Now, please keep in mind magic mushrooms are illegal in the United States and they can be dangerous if taken without strict supervision. All of the volunteers in the Hopkins study were psychologically prepped for six to nine months. Johns Hopkins scientists say the magic mushrooms can also produce fear and intense anxiety in some people. John? Fascinating study, Carol. I'm sure a lot of people are saying, where do we sign up? <laughs> the, gun lobby war the, the gun lobby warns Barack Obama this were a dictatorship, it'd be a heck of a lot easier. <laughs> Just so long as I'm the dictator. <laughs>